I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren. So basically the angel telling him, I'm your co-worker and I'm your brother, you know? Because the angels, they're basically sons of God too. It's just that they're still in a uh, celestial state. You know, we're angels too, but we're in the flesh, okay? But they still have that celestial uh, appearance, you know? But a footnote, the Lord can have them pop up on the earth and they can look just like us, you know? They can look like normal men. You know, when, when they appear on the earth, when they appear to our forefathers in the ancient world, they appear to them as regular men. You know, you can easily mistake an angel, you know, for a regular person. You know? But reading this again, I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren. I'm your co-worker and I'm your brother. That had a testimony of Yahweh Shai. Worship Yahweh. For the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. Right. Basically, the holy angels, they believe in the truth just like us. Because they're right before the throne of the Heavenly Father. And they see the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. And it's only begotten son, you have a shy all the time. Okay. But they're sent to assist us. They're sent to help us, you know, with things we need concerning the ministry. Get another scripture. Basically going to say the same thing. Revelation chapter 22, verse nine. Then said he unto me. See thou do it not because you know once again the apostle John is seeing the power of this angel and um he's feeling compelled to you know bow down to the angel and this is the angel's response then saith he unto me see thou do it not don't worship me for I am thy fellow servant I'm your co-worker <laughs> you know because how will we say fellow servant today Your fellow employee or your co-worker. Something that the uh, beloved Apostle R said. My uh, fellow, uh, what did Apostle R say? He was like, my, my fellow yoke fellows. Let me see if I can look that up in the scriptures. Because it's, um, it's in the New Testament, you know. And maybe I have to put it together as one word. And it's, it's a uh, few scriptures that say it. Yoke fellow or fellow laborers. So let me read this. Okay. Philippians chapter 4, verse 3. And I entreat thee also, true yoke fellow, help those women which labor with me in the gospel. And, um, you know, women don't teach, but women do assist us. You know, women do help us out, you know, with certain things that we need. You know, you have women that help, you know. You have women that, you know, pay tithes and give offerings. You know, women have uh, made garments for brothers. You know, you know, women have helped in different ways concerning the ministry, and it's nothing new. You know, they will help the beloved apostle Paul. You know, Noah says, Help those women which labored with me in the gospel, with Clement also, and with other my fellow laborers whose names are in the book of life. And I just brought this out because you know, something that the beloved Apostle Har has said, you know, he, he spoke about other men laboring his truth with you are your yoke fellows, you know. 
And there's other scriptures that say it too. But I just pulled that one up. But um, let me get something else. We're going to go to Revelation 14. Because the topic is how the Heavenly Father, he dispatches his angels to help us out in the ministry. Actually, the very moment that we all woke up to this truth, the Lord used the holy angel to tap into our mind, to tap into our spirit. You know, what people in the world call your pineal gland. The Lord used a holy angel to tap into your pineal gland, which is basically in the back of your brain. You know, to um, open your mind to this truth. You know, that's what the Heavenly Father did, man. So we're going to get Revelation chapter 14 and verse 6. And this is entitled Vision of the Angel with the Gospel. <laughs> All right. Revelation chapter 14, verse 6. And I saw another angel fly in the midst of heaven, having the everlasting gospel to preach unto them. Because the Lord uses angels to tap into your mind to make you get this truth. Okay? When you listen to the elder apostles and the elder bishops, the Lord has to, uh, you know, basically send, send a spirit to enlighten you to where you can understand what's being said. You know? Case in point, when you go back to the book of Genesis... Let me cut this Mozart down. <laughs> yeah, I just muted for right now. When you go back to Genesis, basically, um, you know, it speaks about cherubims blocking the way to the uh, tree of life, you know? Basically blocking the way of uh, the understanding of this truth. Because the tree of life deals with this truth, okay? Going back, you know, during the time of the garden, you know, the uh, the path of this truth being fully opened up, um, it wasn't time for that yet, you know? But, um, you know, when you deal with the time we're living in now, basically, you know, the Lord moved that block. You know, you know, he, he removed that, um, the, you know, he removed those angels from, uh, from blocking your path, so to speak, so you can get this knowledge, so you can get this truth, you know. And to back that up, and I'm a little bit all over the place, you know, excuse me, but just making the point, the Lord has it to where, you know, there's there are spirits he will send on the earth to enlighten you to this truth, and there's also spirits that can block you from the truth, which is why the majority of our people can't get it. You know, this is spiritual uh warfare, you know. This is a spiritual thing. We didn't make ourselves understand this knowledge. You know, the heavenly father, Yahweh, who was on the guided son, Yahweh Shai, enlightened our minds to receive it. You can't make yourself get this truth, you know. So I'll read this one more time and I'm going to get another scripture. Okay. Back in Revelation 14 and 6. And I saw another angel fly in the midst of heaven, having the everlasting gospel to preach unto them that dwell on the earth and to every nation and kindred and tongue and people, which these are Israelites that are scattered among the nations. You know? But basically, you know, once again, the Lord has to wear you know, he'll send a uh, an angel to open your mind to receive his truth. And once again, the angels are basically our co-workers. You know, when we, when we do these videos, we don't just hop up on YouTube and do a video. You know, we're, we're being, uh, you know, fed this, uh, this, this data or this information, you know, so we can be able to convey it to the listeners. You know, we're receiving those uh, those signals, you could say, you know, 
the, the Lord is having them tap into our minds, you know, tap into our antenna to you know get that good reception, get those signals, and convey this message to you. You know, but it's all spiritual. You know, so um, it's all we need on this. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to um, show you how just as an angel can open up your mind so you can receive the truth. There's also angels sent to stop people from getting the truth. You know, which I had mentioned that in Genesis. I may still get that. You know, going back during the time of, uh, you know, Adam, you know, it says how, you know, it was a cherubim. You know, it was cherubims basically blocking the way of the tree of life. And a cherubim is a uh, mighty angel, you know. So, you know, it's similar to, you know, for the majority of our people today, there is mighty angels set up for them not to get this truth. You know. In the form of strong delusions, you know, Whatever it may be, you know, the Lord, he has a spirit set up to block our people from getting this knowledge, from getting this truth. And I'm going to prove it right here. This is the book of the prophet Isaiah, chapter six. And we're going to get right to the point. <laughs> you know, and this is a scary thing, man. You know, the Lord, either he wants you to get it or he doesn't. Because you can't make yourself get it. The book of the prophet Isaiah, chapter 6, verse 9. And he said, go. Now, this is what the heavenly father said to an angel. This is what I'm about to make you do. Basically, he's instructing this angel what to do before this angel comes to the earth. And he said, go and tell this people, tell Israel, hear ye indeed, but understand not, and see ye indeed, but perceive not. This is going to be that, that angel's job to basically blind Israel, to blind the majority of Israelites, you know, to be a stumbling block, you know, pretty much in their minds. Here we go. Verse 10, make the heart of this people fat, make them stubborn so they can't get it and make their ears heavy and shut their eyes meaning shut their spirits, you know, close their understanding. Lest they see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their heart and convert and be healed. So basically the Lord, he doesn't want the majority of our people to get it. But, you know, he blessed us to get it. You know, just as you have an angel that can be sent to blind you, you also have an angel that can be sent to enlighten you, like we read in Revelation 14. You know, the angel having the everlasting gospel, you know, because we're in that time now. We're in the time of that awakening, but the majority of our people are still blind. And they're going to be blind until the missiles come. Because as you keep reading, then said I, Lord, how long? So how long the majority of Israel going to be blind? How long they not going to get it? And he answered, until the cities be wasted without inhabitant, and the houses without man, and the land be utterly desolate. The two-thirds of our people in America and the rebels around the earth, they're not going to wake up on this side, you know? They're going to be blind till the missiles come, <laughs> you know? It's real, you know. They're going to be blind until America is destroyed, man. But yeah, I pray this is edifying. You know what I'm saying? It's uh, pretty much just straight to the point. You know, the Lord is assisting us by way of his uh, heavenly messengers. Every time a brother does a video, the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai worked on that brother's mind to do a video. You know what I'm saying? Every time you read, you know, you call yourself reading, the Lord is working on your mind by way of the angels to put the spirit on you to read and, and to read whatever you're going to read. You know, that's all set up in the spirit. You know, the reading that you get in for the day, you was meant to read that for the day. You know, 
when you put those prayers up, when you pray in the name Yahweh, in the name Yahweh Shai, which you need both. You know, you pray to Yahweh by way of his son, Yahweh Shai. That's the connect. You know what I'm saying? Your prayers don't go right to the Father. They have to go through the Son. You know, it has to be channeled. Okay? And also the order to that, they're first taken by where the angels, and then they're presented to Yahweh Shai. You know? You put them prayers up, the whole angels take your prayers before the throne, you know, take them before Yahweh Shai, and Yahweh Shai discusses your issues or what you need assistance with. You know, he'll discuss it with the father, with his father, Yahweh. That's the order. You know what I'm saying? And when we say Bahashem Rakakwadash, we're basically speaking about the um you know the uh, the order of the angels. You know the Lord's heavenly uh, messengers. You know what I'm saying, which are sent to assist us. And once again, they're basically our co-workers. You know, we read that <laughs> our fellow laborers. You know what I'm saying, because they believe in the same thing we believe in. It which shows you how how um how high power. This thing is that we're involved in. Okay. But yeah, man, um, I pray this is edifying, you know. And I'll end off on this, man. All right, it's by Gabar Yaala, Yashar Allah, Psalm chapter 91, verse 11. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. Con. Because there, there's different ways. There's different ways that, you know, the Heavenly Father's angels are assisting us, you know. By, you know, feeding us this uh, information so we can be able to teach. You know, working on our spirits, working on our minds. So we can be able to do these lessons, okay? And also keeping us safe. All right. Keeping us safe from uh from danger. Because we're basically protected from a lot of situations that we don't even know uh, you know, we're surrounded by in a lot of cases. There's danger all around us. But but just like there's danger all around us, the Lord has his angels round about us too, you know. And they don't sleep. They don't take coffee breaks. You know what I'm saying? Um, they're constantly working. You know, for your how about Yahweh Shai. Okay? They don't miss a beat. You know? But yeah, man, I pray that was edifying, you know? But um, I mean, that's basically it. You know what I'm saying? I didn't want this to be too long. You know, I just had to give me a video in. You know, been a busy day. But um, it's like I was talking to, uh, you know, one brother earlier. You know, the, the beloved elder brother, Manat Zagba from South Carolina, you know. You know, I made a point to him. You know, I believe the reason why the Lord had it to where I lost my phone, you know. Um, you know, due to the bus situation, basically that forced me to get back on the stream yard. So... Um, you know, now I got me a new phone and I'm on StreamYard, you know, so basically I could do more work, you know, you know, so really it was set up in the spirit. Like I say, it's in Ciroc, one thing establishes the good of another, you know, because we still got to do the work. You know, you can't make excuses. You know what I'm saying? I pray this is edifying, you know, the holy angels are our co-workers, you know, um, we don't worship angels, you know what I'm saying? We do make mention of them because, you know, they're the Lord's messengers, you know what I'm saying? They're sent to help us. But we only worship Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know what I'm saying? But we do make mention of uh, 
you know, his heavenly hosts. You know what I'm saying? Because the holy angels are important. You know what I'm saying? As a matter of fact, I tell you what, I'm going to get one more scripture because I made mention of how, you know, they assist us. Get the scripture in Hebrews. All right. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter one, and begin that verse. 13. But to which of the angels said he at any time, sit on my right hand until I make thine enemies thy footstool? Right, the heavenly father, he didn't say that to any of the angels except for his son. Because Yahweh Shai is the top angel, you know? But this shows you the importance of Yahweh Shai. You know, the book of Hebrews, you read this entire book, it puts a lot of emphasis on the importance of Yahweh Shai because none of the holy angels did what he did. And as far as the Israelites, none of us did what he did. That's why Yahweh Shai is to be magnified, man. Okay? We think about everything that he had to suffer, you know? <laughs> all the things he had to suffer and this is the world that he made you know the world was made for him but he caught pure hell in it you know when he came as the messiah you know what i'm saying but you know just reading this stick it to the point you know uh the holy angels was not you know told they would sit on the lord's right hand but the holy angels are important you know Verse 14 is the point. Are they not all ministering spirits? Ministering spirits, meaning their spirits sent forth to serve, meaning they help us. That's why, you know, the angel told the apostle John, I am thy fellow servant. You know, like, man, I'm your coworker. You know, and when you deal with a job, basically, everyone has to do their part, especially if you're working as a team. You know, so the Holy Angels take this, you know, as very important. It can't be stressed enough, you know, because although they're not in the flesh like us, they look at the situation like, man, my, my, my ass on the line, too. You know, like that's how the angels looking at this, man. You know. And it's a bad look to them if if um if they're sent forth to do a job and if they don't do it well, you know that that that, that is a uh, vexation to them because they're not pleasing the heavenly Father, you know. But they're designed to please the heavenly Father, so they they got to do it right, you know. And they're gonna do it right because you know it's a scripture in um in the Psalms it says uh. The angels excel in strength and they do his commandments, you know, so basically the angels are perfect, you know, but the point he's making the point, you know, they're sent to help us out, you know, when we pray, you know, um, the different, th the, the different things that we pray for, you know, they're not answering our prayers, you know, because they're not Yahweh Shai, but they're, de they're delivering our prayers to Yahweh Shai. You know, you know, saying um, they're sent to uh, protect us, you know, sent to get us out of certain situations. OK. And once again, you know, the main point is when we do these videos, you know, the Heavenly Father is sending his angels to, uh, you know, put the spirit on us to do these videos, man. Which once again, that's why we make mention of, you know, Rakai HaKadosh, which is the Holy Spirit. Once again, going back to that scripture we read in Revelation, 
that angel having the everlasting gospel to preach, you know? Putting the spirit on us to do this work, you know? But let's finish it out. Are they not all ministering spirits sent forth to minister for them who shall be heirs of salvation? Right. Basically to uh, continue to, uh, you know, keep us in the right spirit so Lord willing we can endure, okay? Because the heirs of salvation are the elect. That's who's going to inherit the world with Yahweh Shai. All right. So, yeah, man, you know, I pray this is edifying. You know, we've been going for damn near 30 minutes. But, yeah, um, I said it was going to be my last scripture, so that's going to be it. You know, so with that, I pray this is edifying. You know, um, you know, a, a stay involved. You know what I'm saying? Now we in the very end. So um, the fact that we in the very end now, everything that we do, we got to make it count, you know. Even when you put up a video, you don't call yourself just throwing something up. You know, it has to be edifying, you know. So, yeah, man, you know, with that, I'm going to say, Brakati Hawa, Brakati Al Shai, 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 Baha Shumra Kakudash, double honor. Say all the apostles and all the bishops, great millstones, still well. Peace bless the elect. All right, and um, I want to say, Yahweh, Baha Shumra Yahweh Shai. By Shemra Kapodash, Babakusha, 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 you know, Barak Atham, Kal Akim Shah Bakarium, you know, the Lord uh, bless Yah, you know, of the elect, you know, the elect Israel, Wah, which means and, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, by Shemra Kapodash, the name of the Spirit, Babakusha, which means please, Babakusha, Babakusha, abide, destroy, Babal, Babylon. The water, thanks, them yard always to wild, make it good. Shalom, peace.